Shara with Capital PPF. We're specializing in some do-it-yourself paint protection film kits. And we today we want to talk about should you put DIY paint protection film on a vehicle that has already been ceramic coated. For those that don't know about ceramic coating, um, you have a couple of options to wax your car. You can wax it with a spray wax or a paste wax, or you can get it uh, ceramic coated, which is basically a long-term hard wax. Um, those ceramic coatings, if it was done by a detailer, it probably came in a bottle about this big. If you did it yourself and you got a professional ceramic coating, then the bottle was about this big. If the bottle was about this big, it was probably more of like a, an actual wax, maybe a, a higher quality wax. Uh, but either way, if it has a coating on it, you want to test to see if that coating needs to be removed before you put the film on. So on this Defender, we're actually protecting the entire front end. When we asked the customer if it had been ceramic coated, he said no. However, when we got it clean, it feels like it has a coating on there. Uh, we're not sure what it is. We don't know uh, if it, it was a true ceramic coating. So what we did was put on a test piece and it did come off a little too easy. So I wanna show you the difference between one that is coated, some sort of coating, and one where we did remove the coating so the film is adhered properly. So we have these pieces right here, two squares. This is the side. Both of them have been sitting on the car about five minutes. And this is the side that does have the coating on it. And when I pull this one off compared to this one, you're gonna see the difference in how strong the film is grabbing the paint, okay, or adhering to the paint. And it's gonna be a big difference, okay? So here's this one, let me get it started. All right, so I am, let me just get the flat piece started. So it literally just pops off like that. I mean, I literally was not even trying very hard at all. Now, let me grab this one and you're gonna see a big difference. Let me get it started all the way. All right, so now I'm gonna start pulling and it's taking a significant amount of pull to lift the film. This is how you want your film to adhere to your car. Now, did this stick? Yeah, it did. Uh, the question is, will it stick if uh, something happens? For example, if you go through a car wash with high pressure jets, could those jets catch an edge and blow it off? Yes, it could. Uh, on this side, no way that that's going to happen, um, just going through a normal car wash. If you use a handheld pressure washer, could you blow off the edge of this? Yes, you could. On this, we still want you to keep about 18 inches away with a handheld pressure washer, but these edges are not going to be affected with uh, washing it. So definitely a good example of the difference. Now, what's required in removing the coating? That really depends on what coating you have. If you have a true ceramic coating that was installed by a professional detailer, you might wanna call the detailer and ask how to prep your paint for the DIY pieces. If it was something that you did, or you don't even know what coating is on there, then in that case, you might wanna try a couple of different things. It could be as simple as uh, a mixture of 50% isopropyl alcohol and 50% water. Spray that on there, maybe that'll clean it enough. Um, Dawn dish soap also helps remove wax. Um, or maybe you need to get a little bit more aggressive and use something like Meguiar's Scratch X on a soft cloth and that kind of buffs off a little bit of the coating. And that's what I did here was I actually used Meguiar's Scratch X and it adhered very well. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is another way to tell the difference on what is coated and what is not. Let me get this off. Okay. So this side feels really like glass. Okay. Now, the more I press, you can't hear any squeaking. It just feels so slick. This side, you can hear the squeaking, right? So that is true paint 
as far as that's what the film is going to grab to. So it is a difference. It's, it'll be a difference when you wash it. You'll see this beat up a lot more than paint that doesn't have any wax on it. Um, so we just want to explain the difference between the two and we highly recommend that the film adheres to a true paint instead of a coating.